Yo, what is going on guys? I'm your host Biscuits and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be counting down the top 10 cars from the 1960s. Now, as I normally do for my top 10 list, I went ahead and ranked these cars in order of their top speed. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting off with vehicle number 10, we have the Vapid Ellie. The Vapid Ellie is based on a 1967 Ford Mustang GT500 Eleanor. If you guys have ever seen Gone in 60 Seconds, this is the Mustang in Gone in 60 Seconds. As you can see, I've kind of styled it very similar to the one in Gone in 60 Seconds. I do have a matte gray paint job on this. The one in the movie is a gloss paint but I just really like the way the matte paint job looks on this thing. It looks very, very clean. The Vapid Ellie has a top speed of 106 miles per hour. And this vehicle is rear wheel drive. The Vapid Ellie is also surprisingly in the muscle car class. You would think that a muscle car from the 60s would be in the sports classic class, but uh, for whatever reason, it is not. Rockstar put it in the muscle car class. Coming in at the number nine spot, we have the Grotti GT500. This vehicle is based on a 1960 to 1962 Ferrari 250 GT SWB or short wheelbase. The Grotti GT500 has a top speed of 110 miles per hour. It is rear wheel drive, and this vehicle is in the sports classics category for racing. Unfortunately, Rockstar did remove this vehicle from their websites. So it is a removed vehicle. However, there are still a few ways to acquire this vehicle. I will actually go ahead and put a link down below in the description on a previous video I have made on how to purchase removed vehicles. So be sure to check that out if you are interested in purchasing a removed vehicle. Coming up next in the number eight spot, we have the Grotti Stinger. This vehicle is based on a 1957 to 1963 Ferrari 250 GT California. Now Ferrari only made 106 of these vehicles, so these cars are extremely rare. The Grotti Stinger is also offered in a topless variant, as you can see here. The Grotti Stinger has a top speed of 112 miles per hour. It is rear wheel drive, and it is in the sports classic car category for racing. Next up, we have the Vapid Dominator GTT. This vehicle is based on a 1969 Ford Mustang in real life. This vehicle is able to be stanced via the interaction menu since this is a car that was released with the tuners DLC. So it looks pretty cool when it's dropped down nice and low, but for driving purposes, I prefer to have it at the default ride height. The Dominator GTT has a top speed of 115 miles per hour. It is in the muscle car class for racing, and it is also in the tuners subclass. And just like majority of all muscle cars in GTA Online, the Dominator GTT is rear wheel drive. Next up is the Declassi Mamba. This vehicle is based on a 1962 to 1967 AC Shelby Cobra. The Declassi Mamba is in the sports classic category for racing. It is rear wheel drive, and this vehicle has a top speed of 117 miles per hour.
For the next vehicle on this list, we have the Coquette Classic. This vehicle is mainly based on a second generation Chevrolet Corvette. The Coquette Classic is in the sports classic category for racing. It is rear wheel drive and this vehicle has a top speed of 118 miles per hour. Next up, we have the Dubachi JB700W. Oh my God. Hello. This vehicle is based on a 1965 to 1967 Aston Martin DB5. So this is the weaponized version of the JB700. If you would like to buy the non-weaponized version, good luck. It's the non-weaponized version has actually been removed. It is a removed vehicle. However, the weaponized version, which I am showcasing here currently, is still available on the Warstock website to be purchased. So this vehicle is obviously an old school Aston Martin. This is a James Bond vehicle. Hence the name JB700. And with it being weaponized, you do have machine guns. And you also have oil slick mine droppers. Coming up next, we have the Lampadaddy Casco. This vehicle is based on a 1957 to 1964 Maserati 3500 GT. The Lampadaddy Casco has a top speed of 120 miles per hour. This vehicle is in the sports classic category for racing and it is rear wheel drive. Coming in next in the number two spot, we have the Pegasi Monroe. This is an OG vehicle. It has been in the game since its release back in 2013. This vehicle is based on the Lamborghini Miura in real life. The Pegasi Monroe is in the sports classics category for racing. It is rear wheel drive. And this vehicle has a top speed of 122 miles per hour. One thing to note about the Monroe is this vehicle has like zero visual customization. The only customization you can do to this car is pretty much just the respray wheels and window tint. It is very limited as far as customization goes. And finally coming in last, but certainly not least, we have the Pegasi Torador. The Torador is based off a 1967 Lamborghini Marzal. Now the Lamborghini Marzal was a concept car, so there was only one ever produced. I'm sure most of you are very familiar with the Torador GTA Online. It is a PVP vehicle. It does have missiles, machine guns, a boost, as well as the submersible mode where you can drive underwater. But let's look past all these crazy futuristic features and weapons for a minute. This was based on a real car. It was based on a Lamborghini concept car. The Pegasi Torador has a top speed of 135 miles per hour. That is strictly thanks to its boost. This vehicle is also rear wheel drive and it is in the sports classics car category. However, it is not usable for races. Alrighty guys, so there you have it my top 10 car choices from the 1960s in GTA Online. What is your favorite vehicle from the 1960s in GTA Online? Please comment down below. I will go ahead and wrap the video up here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and I will catch you guys on the next video.
Peace.